the middleweight division. The Rocket City is ready for these two men to rock and roll for that belt. And I give a quick shout out to my buddy Dan Rivas, who wasn't able to make it out here tonight. He makes most of the shows. But uh, he was back with Ron Kytus in California. We just want to say we want him to get better be out there for our next big show. Definitely get well out to him. Dan Rivas and Dan's Custom Fish Rods. at all times. I'll stay out of your way, let you do what you can to do. Let's make it a nice, clean fight. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch gloves, come out ready to fight. Really hard to predict this fight, Terry. Never know what's gonna happen with these two guys. Both great athletes, both very tough guys. Joey Villas has been dominant thus far in King of the Cage, though. How will Brendan Seguin deal with it? We're about to find out. Fighters very similar in size and age. Both six feet, 185 pounds. Brendan Seguin is 28 years old, while the champion is 29. Strong left hook thrown by Joey Villas and you're right there. I had knockout written all over it. Huge looping overhand right fall by a left hook. Joey Villas and you're. Seguin would take in the center of the cage from the champion. Surprising, Terry. Yeah, he's got a good game plan. It looks like he's cutting them off right now. These fighters feeling each other out, doing a good job. Joey Villas, you are getting those double underhooks, pushing his opponent up against the cage. Look for him to drop for the takedown, Terry. I expect him to drop for those knees. Seguin's got an extensive wrestling background. I don't, don't think it's going to be as easy as he may think. Seguin's getting those hips low and turning out to the side, doing the right thing. He's got to get an underhook, though. He's got to get an underhook. Well, Dean Lister, who's the number one grappler in the world right now, really had a tough time taking Seguin down in the first 10 minutes of the fight. Remember, three five-minute rounds here for the title. 15 minutes is like a marathon. You can't imagine how long that's got to be. How hard your lungs and heart are working to keep going for that long, if the fight lasts that long, Terry. Let's work, guys. Come on. Brendan Seguin working good there from the clinch. Keeping Joey Villas and Orlis back up against the cage. Break this up. Throwing a lot of knees Let's there work. in the thigh. Brendan Seguin firing off. Joey Villas and Orlis covering up, ducking out, doing a good job. Back to the center of the cage with these two fighters. King in the cage payback, bringing you the action. Nice combination from Seguin, doing a good job so far. Oh! That's it! That's it! That's it! Joey Villas and Orlis. Only took one punch. It only took one punch. Seguin must be so disappointed. He's doing so good till that point. And retaining his middleweight title, Joey Via Senor. Showing the boxing. We're going to see a replay momentarily. Let's take a look at it. Coming out of the clinch. Striking was Brendan Seguin. Dia Senor, good boxing. Rolling out of it. And here it is. It only took one punch. We didn't see it that time. We'll see it in a second. We see fighters hugging in the middle of the ring. Brendan Seguin still a little shaky on his feet. Joey Villa Senor dominating. Let's check out the replay once again. We want to see that knockout fight. Here it is, sizing him up. Left took. That's all it took. He was out. 
adding the exclamation mark of a champion as Joey Villasenor with those rides on the ground. But Sequin was already down and out. Herb Dean right there getting the mouthpiece out, checking on the fighter. Villasenor dominating once again. We're going to give it to the ring for the Iron Man, Tyson Johnson. And now, ladies and gentlemen, two minutes and ten seconds of the first round, and still your king of the cage, middleweight champion of the world, Joey Senor! 